Hello, 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 everybody. Or the one person that's watching. This is very, very weird. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Yeah, this is weird. It only shows me one person watching, and there's clearly at least three <laughs> um, I'm hoping this is going on Facebook as well I can't really tell unfortunately it said it wasn't and now it says it is I don't Robert or Rachel is there any way you could check for me real quick to see if I'm on Facebook live it'd be awesome Because, yeah, for some reason, StreamYard's being weird. <laughs> Doesn't have my name on there. It said it wasn't going to go live on Facebook, and then it did. And I think. So, I don't know. I'm just going to give it a, a couple minutes here to let some people pop on. We got some uh, we got some pretty awesome stuff tonight. Um, and we're also going to do some mystery boxes um, that we're going to put up for, for bidding. Um, I did not make the mystery box. Hmm. That's very, very strange. Let me see if I can't just figure this out real quick. Hmm. <laughs> Weird. It says that I'm live. Mm. Oh, all right, cool, Kevin. Thank you. All right, weird. It's just must just be being weird. All right, cool. We got ten people. Let's get this party started. Um. Anyways, as I was saying before, uh, we're gonna do some mystery boxes. I didn't make them. I don't know which one is which. Um. All I know is there is. One of them has a really good pop in it. That's all I know. So, I don't, I honestly, truthfully have no idea which one. So, we'll do those at the end. Um, you're not going to want to miss them. Uh, I'm not going to open them tonight, though. That's the kicker. Um, I have uh, been requested by the boss man to um, have you, whoever wins them, to just tag us on Facebook when you open them and make a post. We would appreciate that. So, let's get started in no particular order because it is just a whole mishmash of stuff. There's some good stuff in here that I can kind of see. So, let's get a rolling. The first one we have up at 10 bucks 
is the one and only the one and only Doby. He has ten bucks. I'm gonna just I'm gonna think I'm gonna put two out at a time. So then this one here at 20 bucks from Fast and Furious, it is Luke Hobbs, or just The Rock, whichever one you want it to be. Both boxes seem to be in pretty good shape. So, ooh, excuse me, it's been a long day. 10 bucks on Dobie, 20 bucks on Luke. Anybody else enjoying this absolutely wonderful heat outside? Because I'm not. And I'm bummed that we don't get more better storms. Alright, and as always, uh, if you do claim an item, it's the first person on our screen, not necessarily your guys' screen, because we are simulcasting between three different places, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. So we have people who comment from all three of those, and they show up on ours, so... Um, that's why you'd be like, well, I didn't even see that person in the comments. Well, it's because you probably couldn't see them because they're on a different platform. Um, yep. And then, you know, as, as usual, you know, like, um, if you need it at Inver Grove or if you need it at Rochester, you just let us know after the show, um, message us on Facebook messenger, tell us what you claimed, um, and where you'd like it, or if you need it shipped. We can send you a PayPal invoice for all that then, and we can get your stuff out to you. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry. All right, we'll pull these guys off. Um, let's try and do this a little bit. <laughs> I'm seeing some uh, thematics here, so let's try and do these guys at the same time. So both of these guys are 10 bucks. And we got Cell and Trunks. They're both 10 bucks. Um, trunks looks like he's got, you can kind of see it right there. It's like, just like a weird, like something was placed on top of it. Because you can kind of see there's a line on the side and across. Uh, a little, little dent right there. Uh, come to the back. There's a little dent right by his cheek there. I'm not seeing anything on Cell, which is good. Um, Cell's got a little bit of rippling in the the bubble. Um, besides that, they're both both boxes are in good shape. Ten bucks a piece. I got a couple big Kahuna's on here too. Which is nice because it is actually, they are both the same. So this is going to give some folks the opportunities to, to you know, get one without having to worry about, um, you know, making it uh, before somebody claims them. Let's put all three of these guys together. All right, nobody wants those guys. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this work. Um, so, doesn't like I said, thematics, right? So this one's 13 bucks. We got Buzz, Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Box is looking pretty good. 
No, this one's kind of got like a weird, I think, it, I don't know, I guess it is a little bit of like a dent there on the side. Goes, goes up and across. So that one's 13. And then for 25, we have Rex. Rex kind of has that weird like, like thing on the top of it again. Um, besides that, box is looking good. And then for 35, we've got ham. And again, it's got that weird. He must have been using like some weird like stacking system. And he does have like a little swoop on there. Um, little. A little mark right there. And he does have some stuff back here and down below. So we got 35, 25, and 13. guys down and we'll do two more here one is 10 one is 12 so we got 10 and 12 um, the Krillin box is a little worse for wear a little separation there a um, little little dents there It's got the weird squiggly lines in it again. But yeah, so we got those two. Badman, Vegeta, and Krillin. <gasps> Interesting fun fact. Krillin in the Dragon Ball Z universe. Maybe not always but during the main dragon ball z story arc krillin is in fact the strongest human on the face of the planet it's weird to think about that Mighty expressive eyebrows. <laughs> All right. And again, as always, if you're watching this back through and you see something that you might be interested in, you can always send us a message or give us a call and we can have things held for you. Um, so with this one, these are both 10 bucks a piece and they are both Hot Topic limited edition exclusives. We got Slapstick and Stingray. <clears throat> when they were working for Deadpool with the Deadpool for Mercs with Money, there's also a third one of Madcap. And if I remember correctly, I think they did some blind boxes for these guys too or something. I can't remember 
what the ratios and stuff were. But all right, Aaron, I got you both, both the Deadpool's. Excellente. All right. This is going to be a triple threat one here. All exclusives from different stores. But it is a Civil War three pack. And we got Black Panther Unmasked, Captain America, and Falcon. And as you can see, it's $10, $12, $8. Falcon is Hot Topic exclusive, GameStop exclusive, Walgreens exclusive. And if you haven't yet, if you have Peacock, if I'm not mistaken, they dropped the entire series of Twisted Metal the other day, and boy is it fun. All right, Aaron, I got you down for these guys, too. All right. These three are going to be, uh, or these two are going to be pretty awesome ones. Uh, one is going to be 35 and one is going to be 25. But they're cool and they don't come around super often. They are both WWE Funkos. One is a GameStop exclusive. One of them is let's see here does it say it does not say one is from 2014 one is from 2015 we got hulk hogan and stone cold steve austin hulk hogan is 35 stone cold is 25. Check out that sweet, sweet handlebar mustache. Still not as nice as my beard, though. <clears throat> All right, Aaron, got you down for Hulk. And while we wait um, for $35, we have Dom Toretto. Dom Toretto. This box is in pretty decent shape. Nothing major on there. We're gonna start getting into them spicy ones now. I'm going to throw this one in there too. 12 bucks. Hot Topic exclusive Daredevil. Alright, Kevin. Get you that. So then in the meantime, I'll throw Cinderella in there. She is 12 bucks. It's a very flashy metallic dress. 12 bucks. Away real quick here. All 
right, so I'm going to take these three off. All right, this is my last two here that are going to be <coughs> um, a little, a little less. Um, I got a couple more too that are not so crazy, but this one's 25. It's from Alice through the Looking Glass. It is the White Rabbit McTwisp. This box is in pretty decent shape. anything crazy going on there and put that one over there like I said this one is 25 and then I'm gonna throw this guy in here it's 40 bucks it is a three pack it is a Barnes & Noble exclusive they are in fact flocked uh, there's a little bit of goop on the top from some tape and a little rip box isn't a hundred percent the nicest box I've ever seen but it is the We Bear Bears, Grizz, Panda, and Ice Bear. If you have not watched this show, you should, because it's awesome. But, <clears throat> as I said, there's a little bit of stuff on here. There's, looks like a little mark there. Um, as you can see here, there's tear. It's like it's bulged out a little bit. Um, back is pretty, pretty decent. There's some tape residue right there a little nick there um, but beyond that yeah it's pretty awesome One more uh, lower one. This one's 20 bucks. It's a big boy. It is the Star Wars Walmart exclusive Sand Trooper and Dewback 2 pack. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a uh, mark there, crease. Um, it's a little. Yeah, man, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty solid. There's a little bit of a, a rip right here. Okay, we got this guy there. I don't know where to put it. I'll give you a little bit of. You can see there. You can see the crease. Eight pops left, and then we'll do the mystery boxes. So, let me slide this guy out of the way. Okay. So, I'm going to do these two together to start. They are both, one's 30 and one's 35. One is a 2016 summer convention exclusive, and in fact, uh, they both are scented. That gives you a little bit of a hint. It is Purple Pie Man and Berry Bird and Lemon Meringue and Frappe for the Frog. both really cool I uh, I keep joking that they should do an exclusive and if you've watched robot chicken there's a character that the robot chicken made up um, we'll just we'll just say her name is um, B pudding and um, I joke all the time that we need an exclusive of that one. Still one of my all-time favorite skits on Robot Chicken.
And as long as we've got these three out there, I'm going to throw this one out here. It's $85. It is strawberry shortcake and custard. And she, as well, is scented. It's a real nice set. Um, I think we're literally only missing two, which is orange blossom and marmalade and blueberry muffin and cheesecake. I'm sure there's probably other ones too uh, that, you know, may be another exclusive or something, but yeah, that's a good, uh, it's a nice little set there. ones to the side. Okay, I got Super Saiyan Trunks. He is 50 bucks. He's a New York Comic Con limited edition. And yes, it is in fact the Comic Con sticker and not the uh, ex, uh, summer convention or fall convention exclusive or whatever. I think it'd be fall, technically. And then, at 50 bucks as well, we got Brian O'Connor. one in before we get to the boxes this one's 90 bucks it is from Disney it is Alfredo Linguini from Ratatouille now the only thing is is the only thing to be cool is is if his hat came off and and uh, Remy was actually under the hat and he had like handfuls of his hair or something. I think they should do more like secret like things like that with Funkos. I remember, I mean, I don't know if it's still a thing or not, but when all the people would be like, oh yeah, cut open your head of your Dragon Ball Z ones and there's a Dragon Ball inside of it. Or, or if you cut open this one, there's a skull. Or they had all sorts of crazy things going on and... I was just like, okay. I'm not cutting open anything. All right, I'm going to pull these guys down. And let's... Get. Oh, I'm sorry. I fibbed. I have two more left. <clears throat> um, as I explained before, these are both quite spicy. Um, I have two. They are GameStop exclusives. They are three hundred dollars each. They are the. Bleach Ichigo Hollow. 
version. This is quite a cool Funko. This is the Invergrove Heights location. <clears throat> all right folks so this is how we're going to do it I'll take these down like I said I have four boxes four mystery boxes I have no idea what's inside of them and the only thing that I do know is that they are in fact one of them has a quite nice Funko Pop in it um, so here's what we're going to do. I've got four boxes. They're labeled one through four. The bidding is going to start at $25 each a piece. So box number one is starting at $25. Box number two is starting at $25. Box number three is starting at $25. Box number four is starting at $25. All you have to do is, is when I put the boxes down, is just say bid the dollar amount that you want to bid so the the you can you can if you want to go be like 50 right off the bat that's fine you can do that but if you want in on one of them say bid number one 25 dollars and i'm going to write your name on the outside the box right underneath of it and we're just going to go all the way down it so we will to try and modify this here so that you can in fact see the boxes so if you want in on any of these just let me know just say bid box 125 why did that just get all crazy there and if I'm not mistaken, I think there's the the pop that's in one of these boxes. All right, Robert, I believe is over fifty dollars. I think I could be wrong. Like I said, I didn't pay attention. Um, all right, box two. Don't mind my terrible, terrible handwriting. Okay, so I got Robert in on box three. Rachel in on box two for 25. And now mind you, right here in the corner of my screen, I have a little thing that says live and it tells me how long it is. So, <clears throat> it is, we're coming up on 34. All right, Sebastian, we'll get you on there, on box four. <clears throat> so, I mean, at this point in time, somebody's got to take number one now. 
because if you want number three, you have to bid 26. Or same thing goes for four and two. So you can do it in increments of a dollar or you can do it in increments of $10 or $5 or $3 or however you want. But this is what uh, where we're at right now. So, on my time up here, it's at 35 minutes and 45 seconds. Once it hits 36, I'm going to give it 5 minutes. And if there are no bids, we will end out. So who's going to jump in on number one? Somebody's got to take number one. I can't just be left with one. <laughs> All right, Robert. Perfect. So we got Robert on box one and three, Rachel on box two, and Sebastian on box four. So, again... We're at 36 minutes and 45 seconds. Once it hits 37 minutes, I'll give it five minutes and then we'll close it on out. Nobody's feeling lucky, huh? <coughs> Not gonna get into any crazy bidding wars on anything. Three minutes left now. <clears throat> Everybody staying cool this weekend. Everybody, it's not even the, I mean, I suppose it's the weekend now, but I'm like, no clue what day it is half the time right now. <laughs> on two minutes left. <coughs> I am not, unfortunately. Coming up on one minute left.
Sebastian, I've already gone through all the Funkos. I've been uh, I've been live for forty minutes already. <laughs> so if you want to catch the replay, uh, you can see what we all had. Yep, I'll get up to the glass cases as soon as we're done here. I got 15 seconds left and I'm closing it out for the bids. All right. So that's that. So Robert won box one and three. Rachel won box two. And Sebastian won box four. All right. So. Let's take a quick jaunt. Let me grab my post-it notes just in case. All right. Let it go, boss. Oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> So we've got the 2004 Funko Convention exclusive Luke and Wampa for 120. We've got Ted Lasso for 50. We've got Webster for 50. Kurt Angle, he is 40. <clears throat> we've got Aaron Yeager for 80. Aaron and Titan form for 65. I am not 100% sure how to pronounce his head name, but 90. We got Sergeant Slaughter. He is 35. Dale Cooper's 35. Prince is 30. Purple Rain Prince. No, wait, that's not Purple Rain, is it? That's not Purple Rain. No. Which one is that one? No. Around around the world in a day. He is 30. This one is 30. <clears throat> and then we have Toothless. 25. Hookfang's 40. Barf and Belch is 60. We got 40. We got another Kurt. He's also 40. And then we have the Blink 182 three pack, which is 45. We've got Crowley. He's 40. We got Sandy Cheeks. She is. 300. All right, Haley, we'll get you toothless. Mike Wazowski from Monsters University at 35. We got a Jawa. <coughs> Excuse me. At 40. A little beat up. We got a Catwoman at 30. We have a Black Light Foxy at 40. We've got Bosk at 30. And then we've got 
Freddy Funko, the Freddy Fresh at 35, White Canary at 40, Agent Daisy Johnson at 90, uh, Freddy Funko as Masked Worker from Squid Games for 40, we got Jessica Jones, she's 35, Count Dooku's 50, Chun Li is 35, and the Grand Inquisitor is 90. And that's what we got in our cases. And then I do have this awesome seven pack of BTS. pretty cool all right and I do still have a couple of the last Ronin Funkos and I do have these super awesome Mothra blacklight entertainment earth exclusives these are this is 15 and so is the last Ronin <laughs> Take care, gentlemen. Thank you. It's very cool. All right. Well, with that being said, we were going to call it an evening. I hope everybody... Oh, Toxic Rhino. The Aaron ones are 80 and 65 all right and definitely stop on out to our store we've we have uh, we've moved some stuff around again so the store's a little different again our comics have uh, expanded on the walls uh, the hours for the weekend are 10 to 9 tonight, 10 to 9 tomorrow, Sunday 10 to 6, and then Monday through Thursday we are 10 to 7. So, with that being said, I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend, I hope you stay cool, I hope you stay safe, and I hope uh, you have fun. Alrighty, we will talk to you soon.